So welcome everyone. Welcome. Terry Ann Hyman here. As I was saying, this is my live energy focus for the Empowered Spirit Show. This is where we talk about the week ahead. We look at cards for guidance and I will even pull some cards for you. So we do have a very interesting week. We are in Mercury retrograde. There's no getting around it. I know I've had a few car things going on and other people as well. We just have to kind of go with it and make sure that you do check it out and make sure everything is okay. Slow down. That's my motto right now is slow down, especially in driving and really become present with what's going on. All right. I was looking around today, reading a lot about what this November month has for us. Now, Lena Stevens from the Power Path that Mystic Mama publishes has some great information. I know I posted it in the Empowered Spirit Circle, really talking about change and proactive change, right? We've been talking about this for the last several weeks, step by step, taking those little steps, really going deep into your spirit and asking the questions. I know I am. I know I'm asking all those questions. What am I doing? Is this where I'm supposed to be? What is my path about? And this is the time to do it. That Scorpio energy will bring you deeper. And so it's a good time because yes, we are going to see some major shifting going on in 2020. There's some major cosmic forces coming up as too. Out as we go into January, I even read today a solar eclipse coming up at Christmas. So we have some shifts and some changes going on in the collective consciousness which is also a reflection of where you are as well. So it's a good time to kind of ask yourself and go deeper, make some changes, especially if you're not quite happy with what's going on. Change is hard. I know we all want to resist it, but when we take those steps little by little, sure enough, we get there to where we need to be. All right. So that's kind of what's going on with all of that overall energy. The retrograde in Mercury in Scorpio is also pulling us deeper this time as well and asking us those questions too. So it's a good time to relook at, renew, review. What is your path about? What is your work about? Are you where you want to be? All right. And when we start to make changes, it's easier to course correct as you go instead of staying stuck. So this is the time to review, renew, redo, look at all those things in your life that you want to kind of shift about, especially as we move into that 2020 energy. So as we start off the work week, we do have a little bit of cosmic tension going on. So you might find work tomorrow a little bit more intense. All right. With whatever you're doing into Tuesday, but by Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday, it's going to shift. You'll find a little bit more of that creative flow going on all the way into the weekend. Then Saturday, we have some energy of moon and Aries, which does bring up a little more tension, but for the most part, get your work done early in the week. Stay very productive as you move into the week, creative energy through the middle of the week. And then as you come into the weekend, if you have your work done, you'll be able to kind of have a good, nice, easy weekend as you go forward. So that's kind of what we're going on. Again, don't forget that it is Mercury retrograde, which definitely means to just kind of slow down, redo, take the time to do what you need to do instead of plowing too far fast, but don't get stuck in holding on either. So it's really kind of got you in a little bit of that could be some energy tension going on, trying to decide, do I go forward? Do I not? Do I go back? Do I not? But when we come into the present moment and use the tools that we have, meditation, use your intuition, go deeper within, then you will find the course and the rhythm to help you move through this time. But again, even though people I know get tend to get a little crazy during Mercury retrograde, for me, it's a time just to kind of make yourself slow down. And that's actually been my motto. Like I said, just slow down, take it easy so that you can hear the signs and you can pick up the signs that are going on all around you. More and more, we hear people talking about the signs, the intuitive energy, we hear that going on, and that's exactly what you can do during this Scorpio energy, all right? We have the whole month, all right? Pretty much the whole month to really go deep within, all right? So that's kind of the energy for what's going on. We're going to just take a moment to bring our energy in, ground, 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 because when we do that, that's a great tool, because when we do that, that is what's going to help you to be in that present moment, all right? So wherever you are, if you can... Take a nice deep inhale and just exhale away and begin to call your energy back from the week. Call it back from the weekend. Beautiful fall weekend. Inhaling and exhaling. Calling in your spirit. Calling it right into the very center. Pulling it in. Pull your energy in. As we take this moment to align our energy to collect our thoughts, and to prepare for the week ahead. Calling in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, call in your spirit guide. 
Feel the energy come right into the center of who you are. Calling in as we take this time to honor we are right here in this beautiful season of fall. The light is shifting. The days are getting shorter. Pulling our energy within our spirit. We've just gone through that Halloween, All Saints Day, All Souls Day. All of that energy. Day of the Dead. Bringing in that spirit world. Taking us deep within. As we take this time to honor this beautiful circle of life. Finding ourselves in the season of fall, the medicine wheel in the direction of the west, where the sun sets, where we honor our day. Just taking a moment, feeling the gratitude for your life coming in. It's the harvest season. Time to offer thanksgiving and gratitude for all the many things going on. Let's set the directions for guidance and protection this week to the west, the north, the east, and the south. Above us, below us, calling in to who you are. Setting your intention for this week right into that third eye center, pulling in, setting that intention, and embodying that energy. How will you feel with these intentions coming in? Feel that peace, feel that calmness, feel that abundance, feel that liveliness in your own life. Take a nice deep inhale and just exhale out that intention, setting that energy out there for you this week. Taking a moment and feel the feet on the earth. Feel that connection with Mother Earth pulling you in, centering, allowing yourself to catch up with this time change, knowing that it is time to come in, pulling in deeper and deeper to your spirit, using that guidance for you, inhaling and exhaling, feeling that connection with the earth and just pulling that breath up from the earth through the spine into the heavens. And as you exhale, pull it back in within you all the way down deep into the earth, pulling that connection in, taking a nice deep inhale and exhale, feeling yourself centering as we go to open up and prepare for the energy coming forward this week, inhaling and exhaling, pulling your energy in, bringing that awareness back, coming back. As we open up to look for guidance from the cards, if you have questions, you can post them for me. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and draw the cards this week. The first card that comes up, I love it because it was actually in the cards last week and it came up as the main focus this week, is the Ace of Cups. So this is a card that really reminds us about loving ourselves first and foremost, really renewing, right? We talk about that, really renewing the energy of loving yourself, renewing that energy of who you are, what is your purpose, what is your soul energy? All right, I love this card. Look at that light coming in. It's got the fire colors coming in to work with that water energy, Scorpio's water energy. So how can you renew that energy for you this week to be strong in your spirit, to be strong in that love for yourself? When we love ourselves first, that's what radiates out to everyone else. So that's our main focus this week. That's Scorpio energy, all right? Perfect card. So if you chose card number one, it's the Daughter of Pentacles. So this is a good card for us because this helps to ground us. Pentacles is our physical world, all right? We have the Daughter of Pentacles. This is like someone that's like really kind of taking it step by step, being good with the earth, being responsible, being organized, all right? That's a great energy to be. And then as you do, look at the rainbow that comes in. So this is how we kind of start this week out, like being very methodical in what we do, get our work done, being grounded in who we are, and then opening up to that physical aspects of our life, all right? And as you do this, you're going to feel much more prepared to love yourself and who you are rather than being scattered and all over the place, all right? So if you cho chose card number two, also a cups, this is a ten of cups. And this is a great celebration of a card. This is like things are working out. This is happiness, fulfillment. It's in the, it's in the, um, the heart energy, but also in that prosperity as well. So it's like a wish card. It's like everything is going well. So how can you bring this forward as well? Tens are also ones, right? So it's finishing and, and beginning again. All right, so this is a great card. And if you drew this, know that this is what contributes to the ability to love yourself. Really important. This is a great card, honoring and appreciating all that you've put out there. As we come to the end of the year, this is a really great importance as well. 
If you chose card number three, this is the moon, all right? One of my favorite cards. This is talking about that intuitive energy going deep within you, Scorpio energy as well. Pulling in and really listening to that guidance that comes from within. And that's exactly what November is about. Pulling in the Scorpio energy, finding the guidance from within to make those changes as you come forward. All right, so again, the main focus this week is how can you find the ways in which to love yourself, appreciate yourself, going deeper in to that energy of your own heart and who you are. All right, the first card was that Daughter of Pentacles. This is about being organized, being down and grounded with the earth so that you can manifest what you choose, offering gratitude, things are working out, know that connection that you have with all the many elements of your life and using the guidance of the moon, all right? Really important, using the guidance of the moon, that intuitive energy, trust your intuitive energy energy all right and intuition as a decision-making tool we've talked about it and actually that's what the podcast will be next week we're going to do a recap of our event it was such a great event and i can't wait for that to share that with you it will come out next week all right this week was a little crazy i have so much going on i'm super excited i'm part of the attune event in atlanta some great speakers there is a discount going on i think there's still a few tickets left it's filling up fast it's outside of atlanta joda spence will be there gabby bernstein elizabeth gilbert all right really great all right so we'll draw some cards all right leah said the moon is so on point for me this week beautiful reiki class yes it was great to have you in hey diane how are you hey kim Hey, Mares, how was your hike today? So many people joining in. This is great. All right, let me know how those cards resonate. And if you'd like a card, let me know. I will be so happy to draw one for you. So really, the Attune event is coming up for me this weekend. We've been busy setting up, preparing for that. I'm super excited to be a part of it. And then we also have Reiki 2 coming up the first weekend in December. We had an awesome class on Saturday. So great to be over at practice. There was a lot of great, beautiful space going on over there as well. We also have my restorative Crystal Zen class on Wednesday night. Didn't have a lot of people this last week, right before Halloween, but know that the class is going on. We are moving this back to 7. Next week, I will be at a tune. I'm going to try and broadcast live from there and show you what's going on. I'm super excited. Was getting a little overwhelmed, but yay, thanks to Paul helping me set up the tent in the booth. It's going to look really amazing. Have some great things out there as well. All right, so the biggest thing right now is to remember we are in Mercury retrograde. Don't let it get you down. Stay focused on what you're doing. Make some changes. I can't stress that enough. Don't stay stuck in the same old energy. We're moving into 2020. Figure out where those changes can lead you. Make some changes. Stay strong in your energy. Know that lots of times there's so much underneath the surface and it can make us want to seem like we want to give up, like nothing's happening on the outside, but just keep working on those changes. Keep strong in your energy. Keep asking the questions of what it is you are wanting in your life as we move through this energy. All right. <clears throat> Check out the podcast. Be strong in who you are. Reach out if you need some help. I have some openings coming up in my Empowered Spirit program. Reach out for a discovery session and let's see if the program is right for you. All right, let's take a nice deep inhale and exhale away. Feel yourself grounding with this energy. Know and trust your divine timing is all that you need. Knowing your spirit will help you find that it is time to make changes in our lives. Thanks again so much for joining me. Have a great week to your spirit. Namaste.